Well, hello, my makers. Is your dishwasher not draining properly? Well, I know what you guys must be thinking. What the heck is going on with her appliances over there? I know last time we filmed, it was my washing machine that was not draining properly. And this time it's my dishwasher that's not draining properly. So we're gonna take a look at that today here on Mika Mates. So let me show you the problem. Now, this dishwasher is actually a pretty typical size. It is a 35 inch by 24 inch, pretty standard. And the drainage size on this is a 5 8 inch diameter. This is a GE washer. Model number is GSD 2000 J01BB. Now, I originally had this washer um, installed when I had the house built, so it is about 15 years old. So I guess if it's gonna have a problem, it could have a problem about now. As you can see, it looks like there's quite a bit of debris in here. Okay, so initially I was thinking there's standing water in the dishwasher and this could be a, a result of the dishwasher not running the cycle completely. If you have standing water at the bottom of your dishwasher, just make sure that you've run the cycle completely um, and that there's no chances of anyone having interrupted the cycle. Run it a second time if you have to. Since that's not possible for me, I know that it has run a second time and there's still standing water at the bottom. Then my second methodology was to check out the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal and your dishwasher are actually connected under your sink. My garbage disposal is actually running just fine. I disconnected the drain line from the dishwasher and saw that there actually was no water actually coming through at all and found that there's actually a clog down at the very bottom near the base of it closest to the dishwasher end. So today we're gonna pull this dishwasher apart and see if we can remove some of the debris down at the bottom. I'll be using my shop vac to help me remove the water. If you don't have a shop vac, you can always bail the water out just using a cup. Um, you can even s siphon just using a tube if you have it in a large container. Um, so let's, let's do this. All right, now, so I'm gonna remove my debris basket at the bottom of the dishwasher, and I'm gonna do that by removing the screws by using my one quarter inch hex, and I'll do that for you now. Okay, and there's one additional piece down in there. And because the water has been standing for so long, I'm gonna go ahead and soak these pieces in some bleach water. All right guys, so we've shop vac all the water out of the dishwasher. Turns out 
There was a little bit of debris there and we removed that as well. Now I'm going to run a cycle using a little bit of CLR. This is gonna help to ensure that the lines are clean and clear, as well as remove any lime or calcium deposits that were left there from the standing water. All right guys, so today on Mink Makes, we were taking a look at my dishwasher because it was not draining properly. We did a little bit of troubleshooting and discovered that there was some debris down at the bottom that was causing it to clog. So after removing the debris, we ran a little CLR through it and now it appears to be running just fine. So that's it for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notifications button so you know when I've posted something new here on Minka Minks.